Okay, so yeah, I just used a cutoff wheel to put a chamfer on a uh, piece of threaded rod, and I should have done that. You shouldn't grind with a cutoff wheel, but I did. That one's pretty much done, I'm gonna throw it away. Also, I really should have put the nuts on the threaded rod first, because now it's going to be very, very hard to get them threaded that it allows a job putting a chamfer on the threaded rod with a cutoff wheel. Wanna say hi? All right, so we are here in what has apparently become the uh, big top and is about to blow down on us to um, actually do something a little weird. We're going to disconnect the batteries to the bus right now. So it turns out that you don't want to weld. I can't even see what I'm doing. You don't want to weld with the batteries connected because apparently that can mess up the ECU. I've been told. I've never confirmed this. I don't want to confirm this. So I'm gonna take a second, I'm going to pull the positive and negative off of the battery, and that should protect the uh, bus's engine computer um, and mean, make me not have to buy one later, which I think would be a good plan. So I'm gonna pause and work on that. All right, so on a bus, the batteries sit in a little tray right here, which slides out of the side of the bus, which I've done. Um, I can't really do it and run the camera at the same time, so I didn't, sorry. Um, there are also, you might notice, two batteries. This is still a 12 volt system, they run in parallel. And I am now noticing that these batteries, I was hoping that they jumpered from one to the other, but these are all one cable, which means I have to take off all four posts to get this thing loose, which is not ideal. Um, I think what I do need to do at some point in the not too distant future is put in a disconnect, but this is either two or four out cable, which means I'm going to need a pretty beefy disconnect to do that. So for now, I will take 
Mr. Wrench and start taking these batteries off. Um, also, I should note, this is entirely the wrong type of wrench to use um, before somebody else tells me that. It's a spud wrench. It is conductive down its entire length. Um, I am just going to be very careful. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I'd have to reach over and bridge the other side of the battery to screw it up, so. Mm -hmm. What's the chances of me doing that, he says. Shall I snort with laughter now? Yeah, you can go ahead and snort with laughter now, dude. That's fine. So. Also, these are some seriously janky old cables. I think that was the negative side. But these things are like not even remotely labeled. Is that supposed to be red? I can't even tell. There is a side of these that you're supposed to do first. Forget which is which. Again, I'm just being careful. Okay. All right, so this this cable used to be red. That's how you know it's the positive. It is, in fact, kind of, sort of, a little bit marked. All right, moving on. How's it going? Doing well. Very good. How are you doing, Jess? What you doing? I am using the Wizzy Wheel to, I already scraped off with a scraper the reflective yellow tape that's all along the whole edge, um, but it still leaves all the sticky residue from the glue. So to get it ready so that we can paint it and not have sticky patches everywhere, I'm using the Wizzy Wheel to take off all of that sticky glue residue that's under the reflective tape and it works pretty awesome, I will say. <laughs>